like a perpetual motion machine. A time crystal forever cycles between states without consuming energy. Physicists claim to have built this new phase of matter inside a quantum computer. Google's quantum computer has been used to build a time crystal. According to freshly published research, a new phase of matter that upends the traditional laws of thermodynamics. Despite what the name might suggest, however, the new breakthrough won't let Google build a time machine. It could pave the way to making quantum computers more stable, more reliable, and more useful to humanity. So, what are the time crystals, and how powerful are their benefits to human life? Now, let's stay focused and discover it in this video. The theory of time crystals was proposed in 2012 by scientist Frank Wilczek in New York. If crystals in nature, diamonds for example, which are formed from a lattice of atoms linked together in a form of periodic spatial variation as they repeat themselves in the crystal structure. From this, he envisioned a matter of many parts coexisting in equilibrium, like a diamond. That's why he named them time crystals. Time crystals are a new phase of matter. For the sake of simplicity, let's imagine a cube of ice. When you put a cube of ice in a glass of water, you just put together two separate entities consisting of ice in the solid state and water in the liquid state at two different temperatures. Everyone knows that the water will get colder and over time, the ice will get warmer and turn into water. Eventually, you'll just have a glass of room temperature water. This process is called thermal equilibrium. Most people are familiar with Newton's first law of motion. It's the one that says, an object at rest stays at rest and an object in motion stays in motion with the same speed and in the same direction unless acted upon by an unbalanced force. An important side effect of this law of physics is that a perpetual motion machine is classically impossible. This property that sounds like a perpetual motion machine causes most scientists to disagree about whether such an object could actually exist when it goes against the laws of ordinary thermodynamics. Since the birth of this theory until now, many studies have tried to create time crystals at different levels but have not been successful yet. In a new research preprint by researchers at Google, along with physicists at Princeton, Stanford, and other universities, it's claimed that Google's quantum computer project has delivered what many people believed impossible. As explained by Quanta magazine, a time crystal is essentially a combination of three core elements. First is a series of particles with the direction of rotation, equal to the direction of specific magnetic rotation, also known as spin. For example, the four particles are arranged in the order of rotation up, down, down, and up at low energies. But a random intervention could bring these particles to a higher energy level. This is called the many-body localization state. The second is to change the direction of rotation of all these particles effectively creating a mirror version, which is known as eigenstate order. It's effectively a secondary many-body localized state. Finally, there's the application of laser light. The laser will make continuous transitions between these states from normal to reflective and then back to normal without draining the net energy from the laser. The result is known as a Floquet time crystal first proposed in 2016. Meanwhile, Google's quantum computer called Sycamore is equipped with a 20 qubit quantum chip or controlled quantum particles. Each quantum particle can maintain two states of zero and one at the same time. By fine tuning the interactions between individual qubits, the researchers were able to randomize these interactions and generate multiple multi-part localized states. The energy from the laser then causes the particles to enter their own reflective state without changing the direction of the particle's rotation. Google's Quantum Processor with External Supercooled Devices Google's Quibit 
also includes superconducting aluminum strips. Each strip has two energy states programmed to represent the up or down rotation of each quivet. Due to the ability to customize the level of interactions between quibits in Google's Sycamore quantum computer, the researchers were able to turn it into a time crystal. Programmers could randomize the strength of the interactions of the quibits, and this randomization created destructive collisions between the quibits to allow creating a sequence of quibits with their own rotational direction. This is similar to the first element of the time crystal, the multi-part localization state. From this array of spin quibits, the researchers created different arrangements based on their rotation direction, up, down, down, up, and so on. They then used microwave pulses to reverse the rotation of these quibits and create their mirrored versions. By running the experiment tens of thousands of times, with each different arrangement and measuring the state of the quibits after running for a different amount of time, the researchers were able to observe that the rotational configuration of the whole system is constantly changing back and forth between two multi-part localization states. Signs of this phase are extremely stable. The rotational arrangement of the whole system remains the same even when the microwave pulses change, the researchers found that the microwave pulses not only reverse the rotation of the quibits and return them to the normal state after two pulses, but the state change doesn't absorb or dissipate energy from the microwave pulse of the laser, leaving the system turbulence unchanged. In fact, this is not the first time a Floquet time crystal has been created. On July 5th, a team based at the Delft University of Technology in the Netherlands reported that they built a Floquet time crystal, not in a quantum processor, but out of the nuclear spins of carbon atoms in a diamond. The Delft system is smaller and more limited than the time crystal realized in Google's quantum. It's still unclear what the actual application of the Floquet time crystal will be, but according to a theory by researcher Normal Yao, the stability of the system holds the promise of creating a near perfect memory for quantum computers. Since the quantum state of a quantum processor is particularly susceptible to interruptions by external fluctuations, time crystals are capable of maintaining their configuration even in the oscillation changes of the microwave pulse. However, this is still just a theory, and nothing is completely certain yet. Therefore, creating a stable time crystal from Google's quantum computer will pave the way to find its practical application in the future. Thank you for watching our video. To support our channel to make more interesting videos, please like and subscribe to Ask K-Pop Entertainment channel. Goodbye, and see you in the next video.